Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your weekly general reading. This is for the 4th through the 10th of May, 2020. Capricorn, please keep in mind this is an intuitive reading. Also keep in mind I have grandchildren, and they're running around playing, having the time of their life, so you may hear them in the background. Just know that they are safe and they are fine. Now, I'm using the Affirmator's Tarot along with the Sacred Traveler Oracle. I'm also using the Morgan Greer Tarot for your weekly general messages. All right. Let's see what energies we have here for you, Capricorn. We are ready. Thank you, Spirit. We've got the Four of Swords. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Capricorn. All right. Love it. All right. So we've got Ascending the Mountain. Thank you, Spirit. Capricorn. Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Capricorn need to know this week? Fourth through the tenth. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we're ready. Situation. All right, we got another four. Four of Pentacles. In your foundation is the Nine of Rods. In the position of what's benefiting you this week is the Seven of Cups. Nice. Crowning you is Death. Your outcome energy is the Knight of Cups. All right, just more confirmation here of the opportunities that are coming in here for you uh, this week. Nice. All right, so Capricorn, we have the master number 44 coming up here. I always tell you guys, go and Google the angel number, meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. All right, let's start here with the four of swords. I love this. You see meditation here, going within, checking in with number one, checking in with Capricorn right here. All right, this is where you're finding peace and harmony within yourself. This is also where you are finding the answers that you're searching for okay and that's amazing because that means you understand that the truth and the clarity and the answers that you seek all lie within you and this is you being aware of it you know many of you are connecting with the divine okay uh, you're in communication with your guides and your angels right here for some of you there is a Physical healing that is taking place, mental uh, healing, spiritual healing as well. When I say mental, it can be emotional is what I mean. Seeking balance, okay? And see, I love these, you know, I, I love these little clouds up here as well. This reminds me, <laughs> you know, of the, the light bulb where the light's you know, go on when you have that aha moment. I feel like with you going in meditation here, something has been realized, all right? Uh, something has come to the light here. Gonna have to leave me a comment. Let me know what that, that means to you. Very interesting. So we have ascending the mountain coming up here. Keep going forward, all right, Capricorn? You know, if you look at this picture, you see all those big mountains. You know, Spirit and your guides are saying, you're on the right path. Keep moving forward. Don't let anything uh, distract you or get in your way of what it is that you're setting out to do here. Okay? You got this, Capricorn, and you're going to make it. All right? You're going to make it to the top of that mountain. Now, that's going to mean something different to each of you because there are so many of you watching. But just know... Okay, that you're going to reach your goal. 
you're going to accomplish and achieve what it is that you're going after here. And that's very positive. Now we have the Four of Pentacles coming up here as your current situation. I love it. You know, I feel you're laying a solid, rock solid, unshakable foundation right here within your finances. Some of you are starting a business or you're getting a business up off the ground. Others of you, this is you climbing the ladder to success maybe with the career you already have. Some of you, okay, some of you are waiting on the opportunities to come in here that's career related. And guess what? Your outcome energy is that offer coming in here. And there's many, uh, there's so many that you may even feel a bit overwhelmed, okay? Always make the best choice and decision for the betterment of your situation. Weigh the pros and cons, okay? Weigh your options. And remember, there is no wrong choice as long as you're making the choice that's going to benefit you the most, all right? I am getting for one or two of you, this is the buy or sell of a home or maybe property, okay? Maybe getting a loan or a financial backer. Maybe it's a business uh, partner. Okay. Some of you are really paying attention to your money at this time. And that's needed. Okay. And what I mean by that, um, I feel like you have this stability and security. But if you are in between jobs... You know, always make sure that you have money set aside, okay, to get you through, okay, until these opportunities come in. Now, that's for one of you. That's coming through very clear. Now, I am getting, okay, getting ahead of myself. My guide is telling me for one of you, there will be an unexpected bill or payment coming in here, okay? Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Nine of Rods in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week, and I love it. This is you, you know, having the spirit of perseverance running within you and through you, Capricorn. You know, many of you are ending a cycle. You made it to the finish line, and it was hard won. You may have been in a career, a, a business, a relationship, okay? Maybe a situation that you dealt with a lot of difficulties and challenges, but you're tough, you're courageous, all right? And it's over now. And now you're able to close this chapter in your book of life and start a new one, all right? This was, you know, I'm getting for some of you, this was painful, okay? You may have even been wounded. But you're courageous. You made it. You have so much inner strength and willpower. I mean, this talks about how tough you are, and you're tough. This is you not letting anything or anyone, you know, get in your way of what it is that you want. This is you, no matter how hard this situation was or challenging or difficult, saying, I've had enough, it's over, because I'm ready for something better, something new. Something that's going to bring me fulfillment. That's what I'm getting from this. Seven of Cups. And this is coming up in the position of what's benefiting you this week, Capricorn. You know, this is opportunities. This is you maybe being a bit overwhelmed, like I said a moment ago. All you have to do is, you know, go into meditation here. All right. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing. You guys got it together. All right, you're going within, you're checking in with you, number one, Capricorn. And that's where you're going to find out which one of these, these opportunities is going to be the best for you. And I see you making the decision this week. These opportunities may have already become available to you for some of you. Others of you, it's coming in this week. But you're definitely going to be weighing your options, all right? And you will be making a decision by the end of the week. And you will be accepting an offer because we do have the Knight of Cups here. And it's an amazing opportunity. It's a blessing. Now we have death coming up here in your crowning position. You know, this is the energy of Scorpio. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. You know, and I'm, these two are marrying each other. All right, you got the Nine of Rods marrying death. 
definitely purging, definitely releasing, letting go of anything or anyone that's no longer serving you, letting go of emotional baggage. You know, you, you are ready for this new journey, this new beginning. You're transforming and transitioning into something new. Definitely feel for many of you, you could be relocating, you could be moving. This could be leaving a relationship that was toxic, okay? And you've broken free. You've made it. You've released. You've let go. Whatever this was. You know, it's going to be something different for many of you, but this isn't easy. Okay? Whatever this was, this was not easy. But you did it. You made it. Outcome energy. Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces right here. Capricorn. Here's this opportunity coming in here. It's a blessing. Okay? Career. Business. Maybe it's an opportunity to relocate or move. Get out of a... A, a toxic environment maybe you've been living in maybe it was toxic roommates maybe it was a toxic relationship maybe it was a toxic workplace maybe this is a career opportunity like I said it's going to mean something different but here it is the spirit wants you to know it's a blessing okay it is a blessing right here and you're going to take it Powerful energies right here, Capricorn. You know, there is so much inner strength. You know, the, the vibe I'm getting right here. It has taken a lot of courage for you to finish whatever this was in your life. And to be able to close the door and move forward. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what this is in your situation. All right, let me know how these energies are playing out in your life. All right, I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Capricorn.